Hello, I'm Veer Muchandi, a solution manager for application modernization with Google Cloud. In the next few minutes, we'll talk about several important Google Cloud and open source tools that can help make containerized development easier and more productive. Ready? Let's get started. To set the context, the development lifecycle can often be divided into two parts, an inner loop and an outer loop. The inner loop includes the work an application developer does on their own workstation, including coding, building, and testing locally. This loop repeats many times until a developer is ready to push their code to a source control repository. This is a typical day in the life of an application developer. The outer loop, on the other hand, is where all the developer's code is integrated into one place, built, tested, and deployed. Code moves through different stages like uh, QA, staging, and production. This is all done on, a CI on CI-CD infrastructure. Today, we are going to focus on the inner loop and how several Google Cloud and open source products can be used to speed up the containerized application development process. Let's look at some of the challenges with inner loop development. First, there are security concerns about user workstations. Source code on a user workstation may pose an exfiltration risk. A developer might lose their computer and lose all of that work. Additionally, downloading test data is a security risk for enterprises. As such, security teams limit access to developer machines because they can't guarantee their security. There are also logistical concerns. Infrastructure administrators may be worried about developer onboarding delays if laptop shipping takes too long, particularly for remote employees. As enterprises continue to expand globally, remote developers face unique challenges. Virtual desktop infrastructure, or VDI, may be slow and painful. Builds often take too long. Offshore developers may not be allowed to download code, and remote developers often wish their workstation was on cloud so that they could access it from wherever they want. Building containerized applications is still new to many enterprises, and we have seen two broad approaches the teams tend to take. In the first case, enterprises don't even have the developers use containers when developing on their workstations. They may deploy code and test it locally, but containers don't get built until you reach the outer loop. This leads to scenarios where development doesn't match production because it doesn't use Kubernetes. In the second case, enterprises may use containers in the inner loop with Docker, but it may be slow and inefficient process. After writing code, compiling it, and testing the binary, the developer will need to build the container using a Docker file, push the image to registry, and deploy it all using Docker CLI. <coughs> the developer has to switch back and forth between the IDE and the Docker CLI tool. This can make the development process particularly challenging for developers who are new to containers. Many developers don't know how to debug with containers. It can take several minutes for each change to be made. And the local environment still doesn't match production because the developer is not using Kubernetes. Additional container developer challenges include how to debug issues in containers, how to test integration with other microservices, and figuring out who is responsible for managing Docker files and the different layers within them. Luckily, there are Google Cloud and open source tools that can help speed up the inner loop for container developers. First, there is Cloud Shell Editor. Cloud Shell Editor, available at ide.cloud.google.com, is an online development environment that makes it easy for you to write code directly from your web browser and deploy it to cloud. Next, there is Cloud Code. Cloud Code is a set of IDE plugins that make it easier to create, deploy, and integrate applications with Google Cloud. It comes by default with Cloud Shell Editor, but can also be used with any IDE of your choice, like VS Code or IntelliJ. 
Cloud Code simplifies container development workflows for Kubernetes and Cloud Run, allowing you to build, deploy, and debug your application with just a few clicks. It also makes it easy to do step-by-step -step debugging. The next important product is Scaffold, an open source technology that helps you hot reload your code changes to containers. This means that every time you make a code change, the change is directly pumped into a running container. This reduces the inner loop cycle time from minutes to seconds, since you don't have to go through the time-consuming process of rebuilding and redeploying your container. As for the runtime itself, you can use Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE. With Cloud Shell Editor and Cloud Code, it's easy to write code directly from your browser and deploy it to GKE, even if you don't have much experience with containers yourself. Let's take a look at how developing with GKE in the inner loop would work. Each developer can use their own individual workstation, perhaps Cloud Shell Editor, to write their code. Then they can deploy their application into their own namespace on a shared GKE cluster as a pod running in that namespace. These pods running in developers' namespaces can easily connect to other microservices as well uh, as and, and also other cloud products like Cloud SQL and PubSub. This makes it easy to do integration testing with databases and other cloud services much earlier in the development cycle instead of waiting till outer loop before discovering potential issues. Let's take a close look at uh, how you can use this container development tools together to deploy a Hello World application to GKE. First, visit ide.cloud.google.com to launch Cloud Shell Editor. I have some sample code on GitHub that includes simple Node.js Hello World code and the configuration files needed for your interactive inner loop experience. First, I'll clone this sample application. To open the cloned sample code as a new workspace, click on Open Home Workspace. In index.js, we have an application that displays a basic greeting message to the user. The most important configuration file in this repository is scaffold.yaml. This file facilitates the build and deployment of your application all together in one go. Note that the build section refers to build using build packs and names the images to be created. Once the build and push is complete, the application will be deployed based on the configuration in this deploy section. This section uses kubectl to deploy and references a deployment.yaml file. This deployment.yaml file includes configurations for a Kubernetes service and a Kubernetes deployment. Next, click the Kubernetes engine icon in the left navigation bar. This Kubernetes Explorer makes Kubernetes development easier by simplifying cluster creation and management. In the clusters menu that appears, click the plus sign, select the Google Kubernetes engine, then you can select one of the available clusters. Alternately, you can uh, create your own new GKE cluster. Once you have selected a cluster, click Run on Kubernetes to build and deploy your application. Look at the detail logs. This is a complete build where the container image is built push to the registry, and then the application is deployed on the Kubernetes cluster, all with just one click. Without scaffold, you would have to switch between the IDE and CLI and run multiple commands to achieve this. This build and deploy process may take several minutes. We have speeded it up on purpose. Once your app is successfully deployed, you can launch it via the link displayed in your output panel. Now, let's make a code change. You can change the message in the index.js. You'll notice in the output panel that the file changes are synced immediately to the running container. 
it did not build and deploy the application again, which means the scaffold saves several minutes for each change. Cloud Shell Editor also has helpful debugging capabilities. Let's adjust the code and add a few breakpoints. From the Cloud Code menu, click Debug on Kubernetes Engine. Once you see the orange bar at the bottom, you are now in debug mode. Launch the application by hovering over the URL link displayed in the output panel like before and click Open Web Preview. Now, go back to the Cloud Shell Editor window. You will see that the application has paused at the first breakpoint, which is now a red dot outlined in yellow. If we open up the local variable section, we see that our message variable starts out as undefined. But if we click the continue icon, the message variable changes as we move down the code in the file. Once we get to the last breakpoint, we can click continue to run through the rest of the program. Since there are, there are no errors in this, this results in a functional web page. Once you are done, you can click the stop button to stop your debugging session. Are you interested in learning more about the best practices for containerized development? As part of the Cloud Application Modernization Program, or CAMP, we have container developer workshop that you can take to learn about inner loop best practices to improve productivity and build applications faster on Kubernetes and serverless. If you'd like to take part in this workshop, please contact sales using the link in the description below. And make sure to watch other videos in our CAMP series where we cover an overview of the CAMP program, GKE optimization, and modernizing legacy applications. Thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing what you build with Google Cloud.